It's so tiny. This is gonna be really simple. 10 hours later. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is the day after I filmed my last video. I was so upset with myself that I didn't use my new Makeup Forever palette. So I wanna use that today. I'm heading out to celebrate my son's birthday and my dad's birthday. They're both today. Just wanted to get on here quick. I tried to make the last video quick. <laughs> I had such a hard time editing it down because I started plucking my eyebrows out. We'll see how that goes today. I think I did a good job actually. So my skin's already hydrated. I used the MAC Hyper Real Serumizer and the Emberlease Moisturizer, the Le Creme Concentrate. Is that, like is there an English word? Multifunction Moisturizer. That's it. It really felt good yesterday, so I'm doing it again today. What kind of look am I gonna go for today? I should introduce myself. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Julie Meikle. I'm 52 years old, I'm a professional makeup artist, licensed hairstylist, hoping to help you guys out. And yeah, I'm in a hurry. So that's about all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna bring you in. Is this a bad idea doing this when I'm in a rush? When I look at this palette, I'm gravitating towards this one. Let me use a brush, hold on. So dipping into that same one, I'm going to, yeah. Let's just swatch all of them actually. That one works better, doesn't it? Yeah, that one works better. This one looks too warm. Yeah, definitely too warm. Let's just try this one for funsies. You know what, I'm gonna go back into that one and test it on my neck. And I will do the same, I keep wiping my brush off by the way. That one matches my neck better for sure. So you can see that that one's too light. When you're matching your foundations, always look at your whole body. Look at your shoulders, look at your neck, your chest, everything. It should all be one. You don't want a floating white head on top of a darker body, and you don't want a floating dark head on top of a white body. So this is my perfect shade. I'm going to put that there and there. I'm also going to put that there and there. Mm, I think so let's put that there. I'm just really going crazy with this, guys, because I'm in a hurry. We'll go into this darker color here. Now, you know what? That's quite dark for there. For my nose, I'm gonna use this cooler tone. I don't want a dark, kind of warm nose. And do I normally contour my nose? Not really. I mean, I do when I'm playing around, but in general, no, I don't, unless I'm going out. I'm actually gonna dip into the two of them, I think. And I normally don't do that either. I'm just having fun. I'm gonna switch brushes and dip into this one and this one together. This is gonna just prove to you that this can be fairly easy, that anyone can do this. I'm just gonna be messy everywhere. I'm blend out the lighter areas first. You saw how messy that was? Like, sometimes we are just too complicated with our makeup and we overthink things. Look at this. It's so creamy that if you make a mistake, honestly, it's so easy to fix. Oh, that is nice, guys. How long did that take me? Two minutes? I have a towel in front of me, so I'm wiping my brush off making sure that it's all blended. And let's evaluate, what do we got going? Any other areas that need to be blended? Just taking a natural color right here and just taking the redness out of my nose with that one. I 
When I film in the daytime, my lighting is weird. I think I have to tape the curtains to the wall so that no light gets in here because I feel quite bright compared to when I filmed last night. So I'm sorry if the lighting is a little bit different. Nothing is actually different. Actually it is. Sorry, I lied. I'm gonna use Rare Beauty Blush in Encourage. I'm so distracted when kids are home. I was surprising my dad and my mom for um, my dad's birthday. I told them that Justin wasn't home yet from work and he spoiled the surprise today. <laughs> they called him for his birthday and they're like, no, I got home last night. I'm just gonna take that foundation brush and go over the edges. This makeup is so fast. Do I need any more bronzer or blush? I actually will put a little bit more blush there to set everything and maybe a powder bronzer as well. This is the Bobbi Brown bronzer in medium and I'm just gonna tap it over top. So when you're setting your cream, remember that your bronzer is a powder. If you use a blush, it's also a powder. So don't think that you have to set the whole face with a setting powder because you are setting it a little bit with the powder that you're using for bronzer and blush. Refer sent this to me. I think it's their anniversary blush brush. It's so pretty. So I'm going to take diffused heat from Hourglass. Just touch it up. Prepping my eyelids with Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. I'm gonna use Huda Beauty's Cool Matte Palette. This is really pretty. I just wanna keep it simple. It's nice and light for the daytime. I'm first gonna go into the light one and go underneath my brows. I'm gonna put it all over my lid. Let me go into this one. This is a Refer 01, just my basic look, you know? I don't even know if you're interested in this or not. I was really more curious about the face palette Nothing much new here except for their pretty colors. And I don't think I've shown this on a long video. I have in a short. I have a lot of shorts up here, you guys. I've been sharing videos on here for a long time. I've been sharing TikTok videos since 2021. I have over 100,000 followers over there. You guys may not have seen all the videos. In fact, you most likely haven't. So you may wanna check out the short playlist. I'm gonna go into that one right there. And in the outer corner. Will this count as a sugar plum fairy trend? I think it could, except for I don't plan on wearing sparkles. I'm gonna just use the same brush I used for the lighter color and blend out the edges. And I'm gonna go tell my son that we actually have to leave sooner than he thinks. Yeah, do I know how to be subtle? I don't think so. I just can't help it, I love makeup. Okay, this is an empty brush and I just wanna make sure that it's blended as good as I can. I'm gonna use BK Beauty 210 and go into this same color here. I keep it simple like that. I love monochromatic looks because they're so easy. Like if you're really unsure of how to do your makeup, you really can't mess up. I wanna clean up my lid a little bit, so I'm gonna use that lighter color and I'm gonna go back in where I first put it just to really brighten that up. Take my blending brush and make sure to soften the edges and right in there. I feel like this is my old lash curler. Why is this little hair wanting to be difficult? Come on, lash. Oh, I think I got it. Be curious to find out if people like that palette who have oily skin, because I definitely have a lot of glow, which I don't mind. I'm gonna powder anyways, but I'm wondering, like the reviews I saw was that it really stays put but is that because they had really dry skin? If you've tried this before, let me know and let me know what skin type you are. Look at the scar Bailey left me. I had a bone in my hand and I was pointing over to the couch to tell him to go sit down and I'd give him his bone and he thought my finger was the bone and he went right in and because he jumped up and yanked, his tooth went in here and just went rip. So again, I'm gonna use my very fine Kosas brow pencil. Oh, I wanna do a little experiment. The people that I watch here on YouTube, everybody continues throughout their video to say juicy. Juicy and game changer. This is a game changing brow product. This is a juicy lip. These are juicy cheeks. So I thought, is this a thing? Do they know something I don't? Are they getting pushed higher in the algorithm because they're using the word juicy and game changer? 
Oh, see, I did it again. I set my brows first before I penciled them in. Big mistake. Why did I do that? I know better. So I'm just gonna say game changer and juicy about five more times in this video and we'll see if it gets pushed up. Maybe I should even put it in the title. My skin looks so juicy and fresh. <laughs> I feel silly. These are just words that I don't normally use, but I notice them all saying it. I really don't like the brow gel once I comb through it. It just looks crusty. Make note, that should be your final step in your brow routine. I'm gonna put on my juicy lip combination. <laughs> this is Hue. I'm gonna be so simple with this. This is exactly what I used last night. When I use this juicy blush, I always use it for my juicy lip. You guys are gonna get so annoyed. I think it's such a pretty lip color. I definitely have to set this foundation for sure. And you normally do anyways. Okay, I'm gonna tap it there, tap it there. I have black pants on, so I have to be so careful. I have dress pants on right now. I haven't used my house labs in a while. I love it for no other reason except for I was trying new product. I feel like I need a little bit more concealer today. My husband's in Florida and he's always the one that says, okay, time for bed. And since he's in Florida, I stayed up until three o'clock in the morning editing. And then I was up early this morning with the dogs. That's probably why I need more concealer today. Not so bright. I'm gonna use my hourglass. It's a little dark right now. I thought it was gonna be dark, but it's actually not. No, that works nice. I'm gonna mix a little bit of infallible. I'm going a little crazy now. Yeah, that's a bit better. And I think I put too much. Really try to pat it in so you don't move it around in places that you don't need it. Also, when I tap it with my finger, some of the product is gonna end up on my finger. I'm gonna set that quickly. Is that it? Am I done? Oh yeah, I have this for a highlighter. Okay, so we've got a couple different options for highlighter. We've got those two. This one doesn't show up very much at all. Can you even see that? And then you've got this light one. And then for darker skin, you have a gold. That would be pretty on the eye. I'm gonna use a dual fiber brush. And I'm going to dust over it like that. That's pretty. Maybe a little down the nose. Where I put the highlighter, it's like sitting in my pores right now. Hmm. I don't normally put highlighter there either. I shouldn't have done that. How am I gonna fix that? These 10 times mirrors aren't always so good. I mean, it's good, but I see everything. Yeah. So I just went over it with my natural color and that's better. Do you need this palette? Probably not, unless you're just somebody that loves to play with different textures and maybe you're one of those people that you tan really dark in the summertime or you self tan really dark, but sometimes let yourself go to your fair self. You know, that might be really good for you. If you're somebody that loves the idea of Saint where it all comes in that one compact, that also might be a consideration for you because you do have a lot of options in here. It'd be great for travel because there's nothing to break and definitely for a working makeup artist, this would be wonderful. And I'm glad I have it, even though I'm not working on other people in this time of my life. It's just fun to have, and I'm a big fan of makeup forever. So I think I kept this short. That's a miracle. Let me know what you wanna see next. I hope this helps. If you did like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Comment below, even if it's a smiley face, it really helps the algorithm know that people like my videos. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Beware.